Yeah, Barry Compass. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of our gear, you know what I'm saying? Go hit up Amazon, bruh. You know what I mean? Go uh, tell my mom, tell my grandpa, when I get out on Wednesday, I'm going to walk across the street and go see him. Mm -hmm. When I go, when, that day, I had never got released before. I'm, I'm in my cell. I'm like, I'm getting out today. They come up to my cell. They like, they come out to my cell. They like, like, well, we take, come, t uh, come in this room. I go in the room. I'm thinking I'm getting released. They're like, man, one of your family members just passed away right now. You feel me? I'm like, what? So I started, you know, chewing these niggas out, talking my shit. Like, you feel me? They put me back in my cell, made me wait there for like a couple hours so I cooled down. And then I got released. Mm -hmm. But I just say that because it's like, damn, bro, like a mother went to jail for probably a week. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Yo, your childhood hero passes away. And the cold thing is my mom kept telling me he want to tell you something. You got to go see him. He wants to tell you something. Uh -huh. Rafi 87, baby, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Bear Lex, Bear Compass. So Ben from the Rose just did his interview with Adam 22 from No Jumper. The owner, bruh, he the owner of No Jumper. That was a real good look, bruh, for him because most of the interviews probably ain't going to get that many views if Adam ain't doing the interview. You see what I'm saying? So that was a good look for him. And I did like that he gave y'all this game. That's why this is one of the portions of the video that I wanted to share with y'all. Because Raphael, 87, baby, yeah, he from the streets, bruh. Don't, don't, no doubt about it. But at the end of the day, I know how detrimental that shit is, bruh. Like, you're not going to really get no value out of that shit, bruh. You know what I'm saying? The shit going to be what it's going to be, and it's going to be dark, bruh. So you could think it's going to be different, but it's already dark, bruh. When, you know, watch watch his interview because it's real good uh, as far as if you want some, a respectable person, see, Raphael, he said, man, I ain't a respectable person, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, but if you want a respectable person that carries himself well, go watch his interview, bro. And you can get a lot of insight. Another thing is, see, Lefty Gunplay was over there tripping. But I guarantee you, if you watch that interview, Lefty Gunplay, you ain't even, you going to like the nigga too. Everybody going to like the nigga. Because that's, that's really how a Bay Area, Bay Area motherfuckers is. I ain't even going to say it's Mexican. Nigga, you can find some Asian. It, it, the Bay Area is so diverse that you're going to find multi-culture hanging out together, doing what they do. You feel me? So um, I, do, I did like that. He showed you all that element of Northern California. Now, a lot of people, like, he's saying, nigga, in Northern California, bruh, I ain't going to lie to you, bruh. That's just how people talk. And if they from that, you know what I'm saying, most people ain't going to trip. Now, if it was a nerd from the third that said it, somebody might trip. Uh, uh, but often, motherfuckers ain't going to trip because if a motherfucker's saying that, they know they can say it around the people at least they around. You see what I'm saying? So, uh that that was so that's the difference like where y'all was tripping on lefty gunplay i don't think nobody from northern california would bat an eye at bruh saying nigga in this interview from northern california but you know uh bands uh bands got some music out man y'all should go check him out he, I, he signed the goto's label but i'm glad goto's putting them you know what i'm saying on on on, on front street you know what i'm saying he putting them out there bruh you know uh, you know, but he earned whatever he got, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, bruh, when you're meeting people, uh, record label owners or artists, if they fuck with you, they probably fuck with you. But, you know, people be acting more fans than, you know what I'm saying, like somebody just be yourself around people and they'll fuck with you, bruh, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, he was talking about his grandpa, bruh, and how he went to jail and his grandpa died, bruh. A couple, and he was only in there for like seven days, bruh. And he was supposed to go visit him. And that's probably one of his biggest regrets in his life. And it come from the streets. That's why I be like, fuck the streets. Fuck. One, two, another reason why I say fuck the streets is because 5G, see, y'all you know what I mean? Like you got to do some research, bruh. Okay, 5G is... 
where they implemented all these cameras like New York, bruh. And now motherfucker got a camera in the house, whatever, bruh. So when y'all think, okay, but, but that shit over with because of that element. But, you know, I hope the best for bands. You know what I'm saying? I hope he get a good response from his interview. And uh, Adam, you should interview Joe Blow, bruh. Joe Blow is a uh, Northern California legend. You feel me? Uh, you should uh, interview Jay Stalin. You know what I'm saying? Jay, I, I don't know why nobody ain't interviewed Jay Stalin uh, for No Jumper. You feel me? Uh, you got a lot of good artists, bruh. Kick the Sneak. Why didn't you bring Kick? Kick is a legend, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Get Messy Marvel on there. Uh, there's a lot of people that you can get on on, on, on that platform, man. Uh, you got a lot of people that do stuff in the Bay Area, man, in Northern California in general. You know what I mean? But Rafael D7 better. Nine to five, never did I listen. You can talk that shit, but you bound to come up missing. Greatest like Ali, Sunny, listen. Bring a nigga to the deep end, like we out fishing. Tattoos on his face, but I beat him with a pistol. Oh, my mama got issues. Why the nigga knows, like nigga, here's some tissue. If I go to hell, would you come to visit? Tried to be a Christian, but never did they like me. Jesus died for all, no matter what religion. Did the dirty bird, nigga like a pigeon. I be talking real shit, but never did they listen. It's a doggy dog world, so niggas all bitches. I'm just a dirty nigga trying to go from rags to riches. Told the pretty bitches, you get all the kisses. How close I am, the shots can never miss him. Skin him in his head like a fucking circumcision. Eat a nigga alive like it's the bare necessities. Told baby I'm chocolate. Eat me like I'm Nestle's. Mac Dre era, I was popping hella ecstasy. Selling crack on Kelly like I got the best recipe. The streets of disease. Look how it's affecting me. Took away my sympathy. Niggas love rapping. Just a ghetto symphony. Moved out the hood to a penitentiary. Death for success. Nigga eventually told Shorty she crazy. Shit. Mentally, but never knew what you meant to me. Now I'm stuck with memories, just weed and Hennessy. Reflecting on my life like I got too many enemies. Trying to bring an end to me like John F. Kennedy. Left them niggas sour like I was hanging on a lemon tree. Try to count me out, well, counting to infinity. I've been through a lot, but I never let it hinder me. Smoking wood like a chimney got me thinking attentively. Independent existence, just like an entity. I be talking shit, but that's really just my artistry. I'd rather see you live. Those been hard for me.